Now, this is something I think everyone needs to take notice of, especially this image right here, truly open source. Is it though? Seems to be. It has an Apache 2 license. Wow! Okay, so what do they have to say for themselves? Aura Flow version 1.0 is the fully open source largest flow based text to image generation model. This model achieves state of the art generations on Gen Eval. Read their blog post for more technical details and do note the model is currently in beta. They are working on improving it and the community's feedback is important. Join their Discord to give them feedback and stay in touch with the model development. Very nice. From the example images, it looks like it could do text, but can it do styles? What is the prompt comprehension like? Uh, can it do hands? All these questions and more will be answered as I take a look at this in Comfy UI. The best news is that support for this model is built right into Comfy UI. No custom nodes to install, just make sure you're up to date. The not so best news is that it seems to chew through VRAM, meaning you may need at least 24 gig to run this thing as it is right now. Perhaps 16 gig will work? Not sure what the optimizations are like. Chances are this requirement will change in the future, but we'll have to wait and see. It also means to make sure I don't run out of VRAM in the middle of recording, I'm just going to be doing a batch size of two each time. Load up the default workflow from the Hugging Face site, and you'll see it's basically the same as the normal default workflow, apart from they've got this one extra node, model sampling or a flow. The K sampler settings are 25 step CFG 3.5 and Uni PC normal. Prompt number one then, if it's so good at text, let's try that first. Here I'm asking for a rodent engineer in a cheese factory who is holding up a sign which reads, this is my first test. Interesting results, but overall not a bad first impression. One of those signs is right, and though the other one isn't, it does at least have some recognisable letters on it, um, for the most part. Probably best to keep the text short. Alright, how about styles then? This time I'm asking for an Art Nouveau style with a black haired man holding up a sign which reads, I like cheese. The text is shorter, so will that work this time? Hmm, it seems the text is still a bit wonky and I'm struggling to see the Art Nouveau style myself. Some interesting hands there, which leads me nicely onto the next prompt. A typical oil painting this time, and I'm asking for a woman lying on the grass, holding both of her hands up in the air. Excellent. Everything seems perfectly normal here. Lovely painting style, near perfect composition. Um, okay. <clears throat> All right, let's add in some comprehension tests. See how well it does on those. For this, I want not only a chalk art style, but also three different people. A guy with a beard, an old woman with a bonnet, and a female university student wearing a t-shirt with a cat logo on it. A fairly complex prompt, so how will Aura Flow handle it? Oh, while I'm not 100% sure on the style, it's certainly a style, as for following the prompt, I think it's done very well. We've got a bit of a bonnet and maybe some ear artifacts, but overall not bad. How about some pixel art? This time I want a druid rodent standing over a mystical vortex which has opened up in the ground beneath him. Not bad, it's got the vortex in the ground, which is good. It's certainly a sort of pixel art style, but you be the judge. Going square and some slightly different subjects this time. Let's see what a cubist art style car outside a haunted gothic mansion generates. Not cubism then, but it does have the car and the sort of haunted vibe to it, alongside the gothic mansion. I have a feeling we may be missing a number of common styles here, but I think everything can do the 3D render look, can't it? This time I'm hoping for a 3D cyclops wearing a red postman's outfit. Okay, not bad I suppose, certainly a 3D render style. As for the number of eyes and actually looking like a cyclops, well, your guess is as good as mine. So far then, despite the limited styles, it does seem to follow prompts very well. In that case, just how complex can we 
go. Lots of things to check here. So long curly ginger hair, yes. Curved doorway to a castle, yes. Black leather jacket with the word rodent on it. N not really, but close. Blue t-shirt with a rabbit logo on, that's nice. It hasn't turned it into a rodent, so no prompt bleeding there. And a long creased white skirt, okay. I guess that's fair enough. And muddy red wellies. Wow, okay, I'm gonna have to get more creative, aren't I? Right, this one's going to get it. I mean, look how long and complicated that prompt is. No machine is gonna beat me. I win. Uh, oh, I mean, it looks like there is a limit to its prompt comprehension as all the subjects here have become mixed up. It's still done fairly well with the chest full of cheese and the flag is sort of there on one of them. The sky train is pretty silly too. I guess maybe the sky isn't the limit. After all, it's putting tiny giraffes onto the hats of pirates. How about some extra things then? I think we've seen the prompt understanding is very good, though it does have its limits. Style seem to be even more limited and image composition and quality appear reasonable, even if people do have strange limbs. How about these other nodes then? Does it play well with perturbed attention, for example, or other samplers? And the answer is, well, they do something at least, though I think more testing is required to see if they're actually beneficial or not. Which reminds me of the other tiny little thing being the render speed. Even doing a batch size of two was fairly slow now, making it slightly less fun to create given the performance. However, I think it's certainly worth a go if you can run it. Do let me know down in the comments if you find any cool tricks with it. I hope you enjoyed this quick overview and hope to see you again soon. Nerdy Rodent, he really makes my day, showing us AI in a really British way.